You know, I, I just saw a video on Facebook. It was about this 17-year-old kid down in, uh, I was at Day County, I think it was, in Miami, Florida. <clears throat> and this 17-year-old kid got shot for apparently invading someone's home. Now, Painless Rizlin, I've got a chance to see his video, and I, and he talked about how that uh, how this kid and the family was just you know defending his dysfunctional behavior, and I think this was a um, a woman with a weave. And then another one that kind of looked like a boy. Here's what I have to say about this. And, and this is why the, the majority of you black women, I, I really don't like to take you seriously. I really don't. Because you'll sit there and defend this dysfunctional behavior. You got to ask yourself the logical question. What was this 17-year-old kid doing at a breaking in into a home. Now the story goes that this person wind up shooting this kid. Now, no offense. Why would you break into someone's home? And there's a good majority of these Negroes that are so dysfunctional. And this is why that the majority of these Negroes, you just can't take seriously, especially some of these black women. And black women, you're not going to like this, but I'm going to tell you this straight the hell up. <clears throat> the whole world has experienced your dysfunctional behavior. And they're getting sick and tired of your asses. And the only reason being that this white liberal continues to tolerate your ass because he needs you to keep us off balance. And think about it. If this white liberal got sick and tired of your asses, trust me, he would put a policy to get rid of your asses. But I guess that's why this white liberal is so smart to brainwash your asses, because you're nothing more than a flat out nuclear waste. And that's what you, the majority of you black women have become, a nuclear waste. I mean, how could you sit there, and I'm not condoning him getting shot. I don't think that he should have gotten shot, but he had no business breaking in into a woman, uh, a house, a woman's home. Because a home is like their sanctuary and their serenity. The last thing you want to deal with is someone breaking into your home. And then and that's the sad thing. I mean, that is just some dysfunctional behavior. And this is why the majority of you black women Y'all like going to these clubs, and this is why you like these black men getting shot. Yeah, you get sick and tired of your black men, but look where these black men get their behavior from. And that's from you black women. <clears throat> and this is why that the majority of you black women are our enemies. Or black man's enemy, and that's why. Some of these buck dancing, bojangling. Negroes will never get the message. I'm not here to hate you women or nothing, but this is why I don't want to take you seriously. I, I just can't. I'm not going to take you seriously no more because this is ridiculous. <clears throat> I mean, how could you sit there and defend a guy that broke into someone's home? That's kind of like defending Michael Brown and his and his. And his buffoonish behavior. Now I'm not defending the cop who shot him. No. I don't condemn that at all. But this Michael Brown was an idiot. I mean I hate to tell you. He was an idiot. Just straight up. And then you're going to sit there and tell me with that crap. Hands up. Don't shoot. Give me a break. This has become a laughing joke. And there's a good majority of you black men are just being the laughing joke. 
And I'm talking about the Negroes that continue to simp for these women. Knowing damn well that most of the majority of these women don't give a fuck about your ignorant ass. But as I all go and say, some of you Negroes need to learn the hard way. And that's why I always say, F the black community. Let the black community die. Because there's nothing more than a con than a concentration camp, and that's it. And the majority of these black women, I don't even, I don't even, I'm not even gonna use the terminology bed wench no more. They're concubine, meaning these women have been conquered over and over and over again. They're spiritually dead. They're nothing more than the white liberals' concubine, and that's what they are. They have been conquered. So like I said before, keep defending these dysfunctional Negroes. Like your Michael Brown, this kid from Miami, and I'm not condoning no death or nothing. But this kid had to be stupid that day to go break into someone's house. That's like me breaking into a zoo and jumping into a pit of of uh, grizzly bears and 500 pound pit of lions and not expect to get shredded. I mean, that doesn't make any logical sense, but you know what? On this black female, you have to respect the fact that they won't lose logic at all. And that's just reality. Like I said, I don't care if you thumbs down this video or not. But like I said before, a good majority of you black women are are just flat out disingenuous. If you are professional. And until you black women call out your fellow sisters, hey, why take you seriously? With that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off.